in my in my years, man, in my years of being a property manager, being a landlord, having dealt with thousands upon thousands of tenants, man, I gotta tell you, a lot of you guys need Jesus in your lives, bro. Oh my God, dude. Just what I think I've seen it all, man. Every day, it's a new amount of savagery uh, that you just don't understand, folks. And you got all those friggin' wokies out there claiming landlords are evil, landlords this, landlords that. They don't know the monstrosities that we deal with on a daily basis, man. Today, I wake up this morning, I get... Uh, one of my texts, they sent me this voicemail because when people call into Holton Wise, uh, all the voicemails are recorded. And uh, we got an irate tenant situation uh, in a battle uh, with one of our texts due to some like road rage when they were doing a, a service call out of one of our buildings. The whole thing's insane. This guy flipped his lid. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I am here. I am here to peel back the curtain on the property management business, right? You're trying to be an investor, a landlord. I am here to peel the layers of those onions back, man, because this business is like an onion, baby. Multiple layers, right? A lot of people lead you to believe uh, being a property manager, being a landlord, is just glorious. All you do is correct, uh, collect rent, rather. Correct, correct. The correct way to say it is we don't just collect rent, man. We do a lot of hard work. We deal with a lot of insanity, right? And today's insanity, uh, off the chain, man. The story is uh, we sent one of our guys out to do a service call at an apartment building, and... Uh, my understanding between my talk with my tech and uh, the voicemail that I will play for you here, uh, putting it all together, everybody's got their side of the story, but I guess there is a little bit of an altercation uh, in leaving the parking lot. And, uh, well, we got our boy here, one of our tenants. He's a little upset, y'all. He's a little upset. I think we should talk about it. Yeah, you better tell them son of a bitch to drive in your motherfucking trucks. They better learn how to motherfucking drive. You better understand me, because the fucking next motherfucking time, they fucking tired that they fucking don't know how to fucking drive. I'm going to drop them son of a bitch out of the motherfucking truck, and I'm going to beat the fuck out of them. Do you understand me? You better learn how to fucking drive. Yeah, so uh, that's, that's what we got going on. Uh, I got this up. Uh, Voicemail at like 8 o'clock, right? We got, uh, when you call <laughs> Holton Weiss and you leave a voicemail, uh, it gets recorded into our system. And uh, uh, one of our dispatch members sent this to me. Yeah. So that's like 8-ish in the morning today, right? This is what we're dealing with. On the way to a service call, uh, we, we just got to play again. <laughs> we got to digest this, man. <laughs> this dude needs Jesus, bro. He's so mad. What? He's, there wasn't even an accident or anything. I think it was like somebody cut somebody off. <laughs> oh, man. This guy needs Jesus, baby. Yeah, you better tell them son of a bitch to drive in your motherfucking truck. They better learn how to motherfucking drive. You better understand me, because the fucking next motherfucking time, they fucking tired that they fucking don't know how to fucking drive. I'm going to drop them son of a bitch out of his motherfucking truck, and I'm going to beat the fuck out of them. Do you understand me? You better right there, you don't know how to fucking drive. <laughs> he's so mad. Oh, he's so angry. Folks. This is the kind of stuff we deal with uh, as property managers, as investors, right? This is part of the business, right? If you don't believe uh, that this is part of the business, folks, you need to watch more of the Tenants from Hell show because stuff like this, this is the kind of stuff that landlords and property managers are dealing with, right? I know all the wokies out there are like, oh, landlords are just evil. They just collect rent. Ah, there's a lot more uh, to being a landlord than just collecting rent, right? And uh, you deal with people like this. And truth be told, right, Holton Wise, uh, we evict a lot of people. We evict about 100 people a year, right? Uh, we evict many, 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 many people. But to be honest with you, we don't often uh, evict people for reasons other than non-payment. More or less, 
if you don't pay your rent for any reason whatsoever, uh, we're evicting you, but we're probably not evicting you otherwise. But this guy, I'm thinking we're going to have to make an exception. I think even though his rent is current, we hey, we are probably going to have to move forward and evict this dude. What do you guys think? If you were the manager of this building, this dude was your tenant, he's calling you like this in the morning, would you or would you not evict him, right? And evictions, why we're on the topic, man, evictions are like a hot-button issue, dude. Like, people, all the Wokies out there, they get so upset about evictions and things of that nature. Like, when we started selling these T-shirts uh, that say, I love evictions, they just get so angry with us. They're like, you're a horrible person. How could you sell T-shirts that say, I love evictions, man? Well, I mean, folks, when you're dealing with guys like that, you would love evictions, too. I mean, honestly, there's nothing that puts a smile on your face more than evicting a guy like that. I mean, well, I don't know if that's I mean, truth be told, I got a beautiful wife, two lovely little children. You guys might not know that if you follow me on my Facebook and things like that. I got uh, my Facebook out there for public consumption. And, of course, I'm not going to let you heathens uh, see my wonderful family. I don't want you monsters uh, exposing them to your savagery. Uh, so outside of a, a hug from my loving children, nothing. You know what? No, no, no. Honestly, no. Even a hug from my loving children doesn't put a smile on my face as much as evicting a guy like that. Hence the I Love Eviction shirts. And folks, if you're interested in purchasing those, use promo code HWTV10. Get yourself 10% off. Also, uh, when it gets time for the holidays, don't forget, y'all, we got the ho, 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 you got to go eviction clause sweaters, man. You got to get them sweaters. And uh, I don't even know what the point of the video is at this point. I'm just talking. Let's listen to this guy one more time. You son of a bitch, you're driving your motherfucking trucks. They better learn how to motherfucking drive. You better understand me, because the fucking next motherfucking time, they fucking tired, that they fucking don't know how to fucking drive. I'm going to jump them son of a bitch out of his motherfucking truck, and I'm going to beat the fuck out of him. Do you understand me? You better learn how to fucking drive. Oh, God. I love it. Folks, seriously, wrapping things up, getting back on track to the purpose of the show. Uh, being a landlord, being a property manager, it is very profitable. I've made uh, millions of dollars doing this, and it has made my life incrementally better. Uh, and it, it, it has. Okay, it's great. But the narrative out there, the false narrative that landlords don't do any work, they don't have to do any hard work, it's not tough, it's not difficult, it's easy to be a landlord, that is completely false, and that is the point of the Tenants from Hell show. So if you are considering being a landlord or getting involved in the real estate industry, I suggest you watch any of the Tenants from Hell shows so you can get the true, real-life experience of what property managers are also dealing with. And then after you get that education and you know just how tough, how brutal, how horrible, how often you run into pieces of shit like this guy, you will know a few things. One, if you decide to get into the industry, you too will eventually learn to love evictions. Two, you may realize, hey man, this industry isn't for me. I don't have the stomach for it. And you'll choose to invest in something else. Or you could take door number three and you could partner with my team and we will act as your boots on the ground and your property manager and your frontline level employees in deal with maniacs like this while you passively invest in real estate. If that sounds like something you are interested in, go ahead, book a free call below. And everybody else, thank you for watching. And please let me know your thoughts. What would you do if this crazy bastard was your tenant? Would you evict him or would you let it slide? Let me know. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.